Right, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to continue the laughter? Say hell yeah! Yeah, yeah! Our next comedian is coming all the way from India, all right? We did a show in America together. He's absolutely killing it everywhere he goes. Make some noise! Welcome up to the stage, the wonderful Papa CJ! People upstairs, can we have some noise? Yeah. Downstairs, some noise over here. Awesome, there's a whole lot of beautiful women downstairs. And then there's you, brother. Oh, you're feeling sorry for him. I haven't even started. I love doing stand-up comedy. I started doing stand-up about five years ago. I remember at that point I was debating between getting into stand-up comedy and doing a bartending course. But that bartending course that I looked at, they only taught you how to mix the drinks. They didn't teach you how to throw the glasses. And I remember thinking, you know what? If I can't throw the glasses, I'm never going to get laid. That's why I got into stand-up comedy. And that was five years ago. And in the last five years, I can't tell you how many times. <laughs> How many times I wish I had taken that bartending course. <laughs> but it's a fun job, you get to travel quite a bit. I was in Singapore recently. Anyone here been to Singapore? Give me a cheer. In Singapore, it is illegal for you to be gay. Which means, sir, with that shirt you'd be considered an <laughs> Maybe an illegal immigrant. <laughs> it is illegal in Singapore for you to be seen naked even in your own house. But there is no law against spying or voyeurism. So for example, you madam, if you lived in Singapore and I was to sneak around your house and look through the window and see you naked, you would be in trouble. <laughs> and if you didn't want me to tell the police, you'd have to stay naked. <laughs> Canada, anyone here been to Canada? A few people, I did a gig in Canada recently, got there, and because I was an Indian comedian, backstage in the green room, they had papadums. I thought, oh, that's kind of nice and slightly racist at the same time. A little bit racist, but delicious. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against the Americans. But the one thing that I can't stand, as a brown guy in his mid-twenties, flying in the US, at security check, being randomly selected. Sir, you've been randomly selected for special screening. Yeah, brilliant. Just loop up that probe and stick it up my ass again. You're laughing. After the first four times they stuck it up, I thought I was just plain lucky. And you know what? I had gone to the US. When I went to the US, I went to do this TV show called Last Comic Standing. Give me a cheer if you've heard of it. Okay, massive reality TV show. There were about 3,000 people from all over the world. I got into the last 10 because, let's be honest, they have a diversity policy. <laughs> and what was really amusing was how excited all these American comedians were. They were like, oh my god, 10 million people watch this program. I was like, dude, I come from India. If I open my bathroom window, 10 million people will show up live. I'll be honest, I'm not a big fan of reality TV. You know, shows like Big Brother. Every year I tell myself, I'm not going to watch that silly program. But it's a bit like smelling your fingers after you wipe your ass. Yeah, you know who you are. <laughs> the thing is, I got dragged into this when that whole Jade Goody Shilpa Shetty thing happened. Everyone kept asking you as an Indian, as an Indian, what do you think? In India, one billion people knew that Shilpa was always going to win. Think about it. How do you win that show? Maximum number of votes. How do you vote? You call in. Who the fuck do you think is answering those phone calls? I'd like to vote for Jay, please. <laughs> Shilpa. You didn't think that one through, did you? I just want to say it's great to represent Indian stand-up comedy all over the world. And in many ways, India is a more advanced country than a lot of people think. I mean, for example, we're far more advanced in England. Yeah, I mean, at least our kings and princes 
marry beautiful women. <laughs> oh, come on, if an Indian prince married Camilla, <laughs> we would worship her. <laughs> because where I come from, cows are considered sacred. <laughs> A lot of you clapping, you're still not impressed, brother. You know, it doesn't matter if I die. I'm Hindu, I'll be reborn. And for all you know, I'll be born as your child. And then I'll be sucking on your wife's titties and you won't even know it's me. Ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute pleasure to talk to you. If you've been upset by anything that I've said today, I don't give a crap. <laughs> yeah, because I come from the land of the Kama Sutra. I could fuck you in more ways than you can count. <laughs> I've been Papa CJ. God bless you. Have a good night.